Get ready to ride a mile up as At Your Leisure rides one of the most diverse trails in Colorado. I'm Darren Kinder. Come with Jill and me as we find a little bit of everything on this amazing excursion. Then Stephen Human finds that when you're riding in Wyoming, you're going to discover more about the Cowboy State than doing almost anything else. Finally, what is the Mountain Accord and how would it affect your recreation across the Wasatch Mountains? Don Dunwell has the details. Get ready for adventure because At Your Leisure is starting now. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we're here near Glenwood Springs, Colorado, out for a little uh, UTVing today. Yes, we are here at the Bear Ranch with Adventure Outdoors, and Ryan is going to be our guide today through this gorgeous property, 5,500 acres. Yeah, well, hopefully he's going to show us some really cool trails to take our UTV out on today and some other adventures they have all kinds of fun things here to do at the ranch. That's right, and it's only six hours away from Salt Lake, so it's really not that and, far. And only a couple hours away from Denver, so either way, it's easy to get here. That's right, so let's get this started and get on the road. The kind of ATV adventures that we offer people um, are usually, um, we have a one hour, a two hour, and a three hour tour. We also offer a lunch tour and a dinner tour. We'll explore the entire Bear Ranch property, which is about 5,500 acres. It's a private working ranch. And uh, we'll explore the, the property, go up to about 9,000 feet above sea level, and get to see a lot of the scenery around us. Uh, we get above the canyon, we get to see three different mountain ranges from the top. We offer a couple of different rafting spots. We work on the uh, Colorado River, the Roaring Fork River, the Arkansas River, and also Pine Creek. We also offer uh, bike tours uh, through the canyon. Uh, it's actually uh, one of the only tours that we do uh, without a guide. You know, anything from mild to extreme we can offer. I have never had somebody not come back with a smile. When you first pull up to the property, you don't realize what you're gonna get into. You kinda, you kinda take a look and you're like, oh wow, this is gonna be really sweet, you know, and then you know, we start going down the road and all of a sudden we start trekking up these, you know, ridges and everything and, and then all of a sudden it's just like the sky opens up and you just see, you know, for miles. And I don't think a lot of people expect that. It's honestly a really great way to capture the beauty and the essence of Colorado. Well, we've been enjoying the trails here at Bear Ranch. Probably a little bit more than we should. Maybe so. Those last mud puddles were a lot of fun. Yeah, well. Some people like their mud on their face, I like it on the tires. Yeah, exactly. But right now we're headed back to the ranch and while we enjoy the rest of our adventure, why don't you go look at our travel adventure? A painting starts out with a blank canvas, a pale nothingness of possibility. Adventure is the same in a lot of ways. You start out with nothing and then you slowly start adding radiant red mountains, lush green trees, and the sparkling blue of rivers. Suddenly, your view is one of vibrant color and even more exciting possibilities. This particular picture could be any one of the most well-known destinations on Earth, but in this case, it's off the beaten path in the small town of Green River, Wyoming. There's a lot of history in this area um, with the railroad, um, Green River, the Palisades. There's a lot of unique scenery that's specific to this area based on the on how the river has flown over the last hundreds of years and it was a primary route for the, the pioneers as they came across the mountains. Green River was here long before the railroad ever came so it was a settlement place for the early pioneers as they transitioned across the Rocky Mountains. The Union Pacific actually determined Green River's fate. In 1872, S.I. Field and the railroad company came to an agreement about using parts of the Green River town site for railroad facilities after drought dried up the Black Fork River. This, in turn, helped save Green River from becoming a ghost town. While not a metropolis today by any means, residents are still grateful the town survived. 
Scott Sterewald, owner of K-Motive and Sport in Green River, is one of them. Today, he heads out with a few of his closest friends to enjoy the recreation that is easily accessible from this old railroad town. We picked the full line, basically, of Arcticat products. These machines are built for this kind of environment, and with the fully lockable front hubs, it's endless where you can take these machines. We've come up kind of a, not even a medium one, I'd say, but there's some way technical ones to get up here, but you gotta have a 50 inch or smaller. And then you got main roads, dirt roads, and trails. We come down through the Green River, down there at the bottom, enjoyed the river. If you go over to our right over here of me, that takes you out by the gorge called Little Fire Hole. Right now, we're on a point that's called Wilkins Peak. It's an outlook that overlooks the Rock Springs and Green River areas. It's just a fun little ride to come up here and enjoy during the day. For recreationists, this area is awesome. We have uh, the Flaming Gorge, which is just a little ways away. It's not very far. We got mountains to the north of us. We can go south to Uinas. I mean, or just like we did today. I mean, we left from town and, and caught some trails, some pretty nice trails that you can't catch other places. So there's trail systems that go all the way from Rock Springs all the way to Green River, so whatever you want to do. The Green River Trail System has different paths for different classes of rider. Whether you're into the extreme or just out for a leisurely stroll, you'll find what you're looking for. In Keith Floyd's case, he likes the easier trails, not because he avoids a challenge, but because he's in search of a different experience, one involving those closest to him, and sometimes they're quite small. Well, Asher's nine months old, and uh, he, he has mixed feelings about it sometimes, depending on how rough it gets. So it bounces him around a little bit. Uh, Jenica, my daughter, she's three and she loves it. She, anytime I'm home, she wants to go for a ride on the cat, so. We actually have put the child seats in our side by side, so they ride comfortably and safely, so. That's pretty much all it takes for us to prepare. Sometimes ATVing isn't about getting to a specific destination. Sometimes it's just about the freedom of the outdoors. I retired from the United States Army in 2006. Uh, my wife and I spent the next seven years training ATV and motorcycle safety to the Department of Defense. And as we started looking forward, we looked for a dealership in this environment. And there's no other great outdoor space than the state of Wyoming. The freedom of the open doors. Here in Wyoming, the trails are just endless as opposed to other states. We can leave right from the shop and in five minutes we're out in the out in the wilderness basically. I hate sitting at home watching TV. I'd rather be out riding, enjoying, enjoying the country. If you want to plan your next ride out here in Green River, Wyoming, it's easy to find. Just follow I-80 west out of Denver or east out of Salt Lake and you'll come upon Green River. Head on in to K-Motive and Sport right there in town and Scott will show you the ins and outs of this unique area. Every ride is a blank canvas begging to be filled with beauty and memory. Wyoming has more than enough space for both. You just need to pick up your brush and create the experience you've been longing for. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Hill. It's all new from the ground up. New rack system, new LED headlights and taillights, new chassis, and new improved ergonomics. Introducing the all new Arctic Cat ATVs. Filthy, clean, fun. Tucked away just outside of Cedar City, Utah, are two of Southern Utah's best kept secrets, Canaraville Falls and Kolob Canyons. The rare scenic views create beautiful backdrops to capture the perfect selfie. Get your selfie to Canaraville Falls or Kolob Canyons and get in on one of Utah's best kept secrets. Go to visitcedarcity.com and access your adventure. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family.
have heard of the unsinkable Molly Brown. Well, today we're going to take a look at the unsinkable Molly trailer on our product review. This is the Ascend, and this is the C184RB model. And the reason I call it unsinkable is because of the way it's built. If I was going to buy an RV, out of all the RVs, that's the one I would choose. And so that's what I would want to recommend to family and friends and, and people coming in is, is something I would kind of look at. They're, they're a little bit heavier, a little bit more sturdy. The floor plan, it's the newest floor plan they have out. And it, I think it's a really popular floor plan for people. They're tried and tested RVs. They're all season, so you can take them out in all kinds of weather. The closed cell styrofoam wall and floor construction not only give it excellent, excellent insulation capabilities, but it also gives it excellent waterproof capabilities. Also on the roof, rubber is out and their TPO material is in. It's kind of a fabric infused polymer that they use as a roof material that doesn't rot, it lasts a long time. You know, when I started camping, my job was to take the jacks out and level out the coach. And uh, that was quite a chore because you had to get the jacks out of the storage compartment and find the handles for them and everything. They've done this nicely. These are built in. And not only are they built in, but take a look. This is a manual crank, but look how quickly the stabilization jack deploys. Okay? You can set the whole thing up in probably about two minutes on your campsite because basically that's all it takes to stabilize the trailer. Well, let's check out the inside of this aluminum welded frame beauty here, which is light and durable, and check the things out inside. They've designed it very open, but they've given it the appropriate amount of privacy. So from here, you've got a couch, and of course you've got storage here. This is where you set up your table to dine, and it converts into a bed for the kids. So you've got furnace, you've got air conditioner, you've got all the comforts of home all lined out here in a little trailer. Now, back here you've got a rather large bathroom actually uh, with a corner shower, lots of natural light, a vanity, and a toilet. And of course at the end of the day when it's time for Betty Bye, you tuck the kids in bed and you hop in bed yourself and you don't want the kids laughing at dad while he's snoring with his mouth open, you've got curtains on either side to give you a little privacy. Good night. Well this looks like a good cue to end this product review and see how comfy the bed is. Well, we invite you to come up to Ray City to check this unit out at their store in Roy. See you next time, next month. I'll be sleeping just like Rip Van Winkle, till then. The road of summer is fleeting. It's time to get your family out exploring, and Ray City RV is making it easy for you to do with our Pioneer sale. Get amazing deals like this brand new 2016 Cyclone 3010 toy hauler, Pioneer priced at only $49,995. Hey, that's only $406 per month. You won't find a price like that anywhere in the country. Our stock is limited, so come in and see us on Riverdale Road in Roy and start your family's journey through summer. It's Ray City RV's July Pioneer sale, going on now through the end of the month. This is an all-new upgraded experience for first-time buyers on a budget with big towing power, room for three, and sporty good looks. Yamaha's all-new V1 Series is packed with features and amenities not found on competing entry-level watercraft. A reliable Yamaha marine engine, roomy three-up riding, built-in storage, a stable, fun haul design, and a fit and finish that looks like it costs a whole lot more. There are certain types of people out there who put everything to the test. For them, we built the Can-Am Maverick XDS with the first factory installed turbo. It delivers 121 horsepower, impressive suspension travel, and exclusive Fox shocks. It's engineered to ace any test, including yours. Can-Am, the ride says it all. your own place? Well, I'm Jill Kinder with Exit Realty Plus, and I can help you find your new home. Whether you're a first-time home buyer looking to expand or looking for an investment property, give me a call. So when you're ready, contact me, Jill Kinder at 801-718-4622 or at jillkinder at gmail.com.
Exit Realty Plus, helping you find the home of your dreams. Oh, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here at the Bear Ranch in near Glenwood Springs, Colorado, and we're just having a great time out here with all the fun things to do. Yes, and one of the features that they have here is that they often have a chuck wagon dinner, and this is where they have it. Yeah, and they also have a ton of other activities. Let's go check them out. That'd be great. This is my family's place. My family's been here over 100 years. We're a working sheep ranch. Oh, 15 years ago or so, we started taking in guests. And uh, now we, we do all sorts of outdoor recreational activities in the summertime in addition to, to the livestock that we run. A lot of times families will set it up where the entire family will come. They'll rent out the entire ranch. Uh, got uh, a few lodges. One can accommodate 25 people, another sleeps 12. Have some smaller cabins that sleep six, eight, four. Uh, so they'll fill up all the cabins. We can easily accommodate 50 or 60 people, you know, for a good sized family reunion. They'll stay for the week. Uh, one, one evening they'll have a chuck wagon dinner with us. They'll go on their ATV trip. They'll go on their horseback ride. They'll set up rafting in town. They might do a Segway tour. They might go down and enjoy Glenwood Springs. There's lots of things to do there. They could take a couple days and go down to Glenwood. And we can easily fill four, five, six days full of activities. It's a great atmosphere. Just the other day I had a gentleman say, you know, we really love your place. It's the first time I've seen my kids off of their phones, off their, off their iPad uh, in quite a while. So that's what you can do here. You can bring your family, you can enjoy a good family atmosphere, enjoy some beautiful scenery, some great country, have some great activity, and just, just have something different. Just sit back and relax, enjoy yourself. And it's just a great experience. It's a great experience for the entire family. Well, Darren, I think this is so fantastic. We're going to have to bring the whole cast next time. Family. Are you sure you want to show every? You, want, you sure you want to show everybody this place? Well, it's kind of fun to have it to yourself. Hey, you can see. It has been got awesome. a beautiful cabin right there. Yeah, um, but wouldn't it be fun to share it with you? Yeah, we'll put them in the little cabins. Okay, there's little <laughs> cabins, big cabins, cabins with. Some, all kinds of luxuries, cabins with no luxuries, <laughs> yeah. but just, bathrooms close by. Yes, but it really is a, it really is a beautiful place. Oh. But right now we need to get to our trailhead adventure. The Wasatch Mountain Range is a key feature of Northern Utah, stretching 160 miles from the Utah-Idaho border south into the central part of the state. 85% of the population of Utah lives within 15 miles of the range, with early settlers using them for granite and timber and modern residents enjoying them for their recreational possibilities. Over the last few years, a group of stakeholders have gotten together to formulate a plan about how best to manage the canyons and mountain peaks that have become the go-to destination for hundreds of thousands of locals. The group has become known as the Mountain Accord, and this week, they voted on their plans. Mountain Accord is a collaboration of many groups, elected officials, ski resorts, uh, federal agencies. This was kind of the culmination of many years of effort to try and address some of the high profile issues that are going to come because of pressure on the canyons from population growth and demand for recreation. This is just a plan that one organization is proposing. This isn't the federal government proposing this or anything like that. From the inception of the Mountain Accord, controversy has swirled as user groups, developers, transportation experts, and the public clashed over different proposals such as rail lines up the canyons and tunnels running between resorts. Most of those plans met a quick end during the discussions, but one that looked to be going forward took many OHV recreationists and local residents completely by surprise. Proposals that would likely remove miles of public trails from the top of American Fork Canyon. I even got caught off guard on this. Uh, part of the issue is that Snowbird Ski Resort owns property down in American Fork Canyon. They also own property further up on the mountain. They wanted to swap some of the land to be able to use more property down within American Fork Canyon. The problem with this is this could cause effect of recreationalists using American Fork Canyon, like the ATVers, the snowmobilers, hunters, fishermen full-size off-roaders. Residents like Steve Naw, who live at the base of the canyon, felt similarly taken aback. That really caught me off a of guard. 
Um, I, was, I was scared by what was being proposed and the lack of information and, and the fact that this was the first that I had ever heard of it. Confusion about lost access, timelines, and how official the plans would actually be led many in the community to balk at the news, including Utah County leaders. At this week's vote, the issue was addressed and a consensus reached. The beautiful thing is that Utah County decided that, hey, this accord was not for them and they pulled out. Consequently, the uh, Mountain Accord pulled all issues in American Fork Canyon off the table. Allowing Utah County to process what is proposed and allowing Utah County to, to reach out to their citizens and reaching out to the user groups of that, of that area, I think is critical to the overall outcome. Once the Utah County plan was shelved and public comments heard, the council voted to affirm the current Mountain Accord and move forward with detailing what recreation along the Wasatch Front will look like in the decades to come. The work is far from finished. I believe we've set a great blueprint for the future, but boy, the details are still to be worked out. For the off-highway community, hikers, mountain bikers, and recreationists of all types, input and ideas are still welcomed, and the public can shape future plans, but there is strength in numbers. You gotta be part of something. Sitting in your recliner and armchair quarterbacking is not the answer to the situation. You gotta be involved, you need to be a member of a club. Utah's trails are America's trails and we have to keep them open. The Wasatch Mountains will always be the defining characteristic of what it means to live and recreate in Utah. So long as we respect that resource and everyone's right to enjoy it, we may be able to keep them open and pristine for centuries to come. From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunbar. Visit the waters of the Caribbean without ever leaving the Rocky Mountains. The turquoise warm water of Bear Lake is the perfect summer destination for your family, and it's this week's featured Utah State Park. Minerals suspended in the water give Bear Lake its tropical color. The park's concession operator, Bear Lake Funtime, offers a variety of goods and services, including boat rentals, comfortable cabins, fast food services, and on-the-water fuel at the marina. Everything available from tent camping to full RV hookups for overnight use. The State Marina, about one mile south of Garden City on U.S. Highway 89, and the park's east side areas provide lots of public access. Bear Lake is easily accessed via U.S. 89 through Logan Canyon. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Hey folks, R.J. Bailey for Stedman's Recreation. You know when it comes to your next purchase on an ATV or road bike, you don't have to have the blues. Come on out to Stedman's where they treat you like family. You'll get the best prices, the best service, and you'll have a friend for life where they got a full lineup of Polaris, Yamaha, and Honda. When you come out to Stedman's, you're not dealing with just salesmen, you're dealing with family. And when you come out here, they'll make you feel like family. Stedman's Recreation. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. Beautiful scene, isn't it? The great wide spaces of the wild, wild west. Hi, I'm Chad Booth, host of At Your Leisure. I'm asking you to support the Blue Ribbon Coalition. Their efforts responsibly preserve access to our public lands. If it were not for the Blue Ribbon Coalition and their efforts, you may not have access to millions of acres of land across the West. This is America's playground, and if we don't do anything, we are going to lose it. Join, participate, and donate. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are at our final viewpoint destination before we go back into Glenwood Springs. And this is called dot zero. Yeah, which is basically means dot zero, which is where the Latin longitude lines come together. And there's actually a volcano right there. It's a dormant volcano, but it has a full caldera there that you can climb down into. And uh, just a beautiful, you know, you can drive up pretty close and then it's a short hike to get up and into it. So 
it'd be kind of a fun adventure to go all by itself. It would be, and there are so many adventures up here. If you have a, a business retreat or a family reunion or a wedding, anything like that, that you want to come up, this would be an awesome place to do that. There's so much to do. Spend a week or more, and we'll have to do the volcano next time yeah, we come up. Yeah, because there, there is so many different things to do here, uh, from whitewater rafting to everything else that goes oh on gosh. around here. Yeah, that all you the can, hot springs. You, you can play all day long, yeah. so it, it's really a lot of fun. But right now, we need to get to our calendar of events. And our first event is the Duchesne County Fair. Yeah, and that's August 3rd through the 8th in Roosevelt, Utah. They are celebrating 100 years, so make sure you go and visit. They will have parades, fireworks, concerts, and just a good old time. To find out more, go to DuchesneCountyFair.com. And the week before is the Uinta Basin in celebration. Join the festivities July 30th, 31st, and August 1st. <laughs> They will have rides and games, and Jason Michael Carroll will also be performing on August 1st. Then in September, we have the Green River Melon Days down in Green River, Utah. Farmers bring out their fresh watermelon for free slices, along with a parade down Main Street, concerts in the park, and many sporting events. Find out more at melondays.com. Next Friday and Saturday, there's going to be the Wake Up Wakeboard Competition at Pine View Reservoir. You can come up and try out wake and surfboard boats and be able to go out and have a great time. Plus, on Saturday, see some of the best competitors in the state going head to head. This week's winner we found in Tooele County. License plate number X135PD. You have won a weekend getaway to Lizzie and Charlie's. This is a great place with cabins, campsites, and ATV rentals. Please call 801 947 8888 to claim your getaway. For those who didn't win, get into one of our sponsors and pick up your AYL stickers. Now let's take a look at next week's show. How can your family discover hidden adventures while the kids learn and explore? Well, next week we'll take you to Cedar City and show one program that will get your kids unplugged and into the outdoors in an entirely new way. From there, Darren Kinder will show off what makes the oldest motorcycle company new again and why this is the best time of the year to hit the road. We'll be here with the adventure and we'll look to see you again next week. Well, next week's show looks great. Yeah, but right now we're on 7th Street in Glenwood Springs. We have a beautiful river flowing by on one side and all these fabulous restaurants on the other, and we are starving. Yes, yeah, so we've been playing all day, and it's time to eat. Yep, so let's go do it. Awesome. So between now and the next time we get together, get out with your family and friends. In the great outdoors. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. With your family and friends. In the great out. Well, next week's show looks great. Sure, but right now, <laughs> make sure you get out with your family and friends in the great outdoors <laughs> at your leisure. You got your tongue out? <laughs> Find a mud puddle, Ryan. <laughs> Dump them off. <laughs> at your leisure. Sorry, I had one in my ear. <laughs> You have a message, you have a brand, you have something worth experiencing. What you don't have is an audience. It's time to change that. It's time to partner with the number one outdoor program in the country and show the world what you have to offer. Advertising on At Your Leisure is effective and affordable, giving you an audience that dwarfs anything else out there. Backed by a proven force of outdoor adventure. Contact the AYL team at 801-947-8888. It's time your message was heard. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.